Next, we're going to talk about WAN quality reports. So WAN quality reports are done at the device level. So if we drill into this 1350 here and go to the reports, you can see WAN quality reports show us up on that list. So WAN quality reports tracks every active WAN on, on any given router, whether it's an Ethernet connection or an LTE connection, we track quality metrics for those WANs and roll all that information up to in control two. So for this particular router, it only has one Ethernet WAN. And so this is on a cable modem connection. And as we see, we're on, we're, we're selected today's date. We've chosen WAN one. By default, it's gonna show you 30 minutes of time. Pretty mundane, right? It's got about 30 to 40 milliseconds of latency. It looks real stable, right? Everything's great. We can widen that view out, click on all. You can see something happened right around 5 a.m. Latency wasn't terrible before, but higher for sure kind of in the 40 to 60 millisecond range. Sometime right around 5 a.m. things kind of smoothed out and leveled off right around 30 milliseconds. See, we get a couple spikes, but again, this is all pretty pretty small stuff. 30 to 50 millisecond latency, no big deal. We get a lot of support tickets on our side from customers who are complaining, oh, I've got, you know, voice quality issues or, you know, my customer's internet connection or my customer's complaining of slow speeds. So this is a great first place to start looking at is just drill down into the individual WAN connections for that customer and start looking to see, you know, maybe there are large latency spikes. I know we've seen that many times where you get voice quality complaints and you come and look at the WAN quality reports and yeah, there's not a lot of quality happening on their WAN. You're seeing large latency spikes, lots of varied activity. So these are good places to dig for data or clues to figure out what might be causing a customer's issue. And if you are seeing low quality performance on particular WANs, that's where you can start looking at speed fusion as, as a way to help work around some of those issues. So there's not a lot of data to look at necessarily on a wired connection, definitely very useful, but Pretty simple and straightforward. If we go to an LTE based connection, we can start to see a lot more information show up. So for this particular unit, I'm gonna to go to a day that I know this was moving around. So I'm going to February 5th. And so here we can see a lot more complicated graph, a lot more data on the graph showing up here. So you can see the carrier, we've got AT&T, we can see the LTE band that's being used, band 12. And then you can see the different signal metrics. You can see the RSRQ. You can also download this information. So if you click on this download as CSV, we'll let that download. You can see there's quite a bit of data where ticking up at 700, probably almost a meg of data there. So lots of data points and we'll convert this to a Google Sheet so you can read it a little easier. There's tons of data that we're grabbing with respect to the cellular connection quality over time. So you're getting all kinds of data points. You get the lat latency, you get RSRP, signer, RSRQ, you get all the all the relevant signal metrics, you get the location, timestamp. So you've got tons of raw data. If you want to turn this into some other sort of report or import it into some other system, you've got all kinds of data to, to work with here. Just a couple clicks. And so again, I can switch to different WANs. I think cellular 2 is AT&T as well. If we go to cellular 3, I think that was a different carrier. Okay, so here we've got Verizon. Again, you've got all that data mapped out over time. You can see different events at the top, WAN down, WAN up. So if you lose a connection offline and online, that's when the router is booting up or, or shutting down. So you've got lo lots of nice flags here to show you different events. Now, Looking at a graph of cellular signal data can get boring real fast. And so what I think is the more useful perspective is the map view. So like I said, on this day, we're, we're driving for considerable amount of time. So here you can see we're on Verizon 
And here you can see that all those readings kind of smoothed out over the, the course of that, that trip. And so in general, this is pretty good connectivity. If we click on any one of these, you can see the individual records that make up that, that dot. If you click on the details, you can see all of those specific readings. So you can see there's a couple in there that aren't that great, but in total, they average out pretty good. Now, if we want to zoom in, you can see those individual plots in a more granular fashion. You can start to zero in on where your coverage coverage issues might be or your signal quality issues might, might exist. And so here we can see this is where the quality is starting to degrade. So you get some clues from the larger view, but then as you, as you drill down, you can really start to break out where those trouble spots might be. So that's Verizon. Let's, let's switch carriers again and just see what the map view looks like for a couple other carriers. So this one is T-Mobile. So again, there's mostly good, mostly good coverage on this route. There's a couple spots that look a little more glaring than Verizon's did, but all in all, pretty isolated stuff. Now we can use these tools up here to start drilling in and, and looking for more specific issues or, or different different metrics. So if we take away the strength and the quality, we can look at just the latency. So if we look at latency less than 500 milliseconds, that's good performance in general. If we look at over 500 milliseconds, there's where we can see the users actually experiencing an impact to their traffic. So in all of these areas, these are areas where our our latency metric recorded higher than 500 milliseconds. So that's where you're going to start to see the performance really degrade for you. Now you can change that threshold if you want. If 500 isn't the right perspective, let's turn it up. Okay, so now here's over a thousand milliseconds. So these are getting to be pretty terrible in terms of user experience. So you can start to really zero in on particular areas where you're getting a bad user experience. And so in this case, you can see the strength is very poor, the quality is very poor, and the latency is very poor. Well, strength to begin with, antennas are about the only thing you can do to really improve that. So that's not necessarily a carrier fault, carrier issue. That might just be you don't have enough antenna to really make the connection work well in that location. Now in this location, you can see signal strength is very good, the quality is very good, but the latency is really high. So this is more of a carrier side issue. It doesn't look like there's much you can do to fix this issue. But again, I'm, I'm putting in a couple data points and clicking on a few circles, and I know a heck of a lot about my customer's experience and, and what the sources of those, those problems might be with really only five or 10 minutes of research here. There's all kinds of powerful things you can do with this data at your fingertips. Now let's go back and filter by signal strength. So like I talked about earlier, there's things that you can influence and there's things that are kind of out of your control. Signal strength, to a point, you have some control over that. Again, you can find better antennas, you can reduce the cabling in between your, your router and the antenna. You can do things to influence the signal strength. You can't put new towers up, but you can optimize the, the signal within whatever towers they have out there. So here you can see there's several areas where the signal strength has hit our threshold of very poor. So again, this would be a good way to help communicate to your customer that maybe it's worth spending some money on getting a better antenna set up for their, their device. So again, you've got lots of lots of data points that you can you can manipulate here to get the exact perspective that you're looking to bring to troubleshoot or try and explain different situations to your customers. So that covers it for the WAN quality and cellular maps.